Hello everybody. So right now I am in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Uh, this is the largest ecosystem of this type of pine tree and it's uh, a very weird place. Like first of all just like walking through the Pine Barrens is kind of creepy. You walk down these like narrow paths and the trees are just like very strange looking. It's very easy to get lost here. This particular trail I'm on does have markers, but like just as you're going along, sometimes it doesn't seem very apparent. You come across forks and then there's the little trail markers are here, but they painted them like this Pepto-Bismol color. So they don't really reflect light so much. And the reviews for this particular trail I'm on are, uh, there's some negative ones, <laughs> like on Google, of people who've like come here and gotten lost. So you kind of have to be on your guard here just to make sure that you're not going to get lost. And I think this would be especially an issue if you're here when it's dark or like even like a little bit dark. I'm here like the middle of the day and it's still like a little tricky. If it weren't so bright out, I could definitely see myself getting lost in here. So I'm following this rather large path. And you see, like, it's leading over here. This seems to be the place to be. Nope. Actually, you have to go around there. You see that little bit of paint there? That's what I should be looking out for. But you can't really see it <laughs> when you're, like, walking on this main trail. Like, everything is kind of, like, directing you to go down, like, the more, like, well-trodden, clearer path. But you're actually meant to go into that. I mean, it looks more fun in there, but it would be very, very easy to accidentally walk down this path instead. There's a lot of folklore here. The, uh, the Jersey Devil, you may have heard of that. That is supposed to be from the Pine Barrens. And the story with that is that in the 18th century, a woman had a, her 13th child, and it, when it came out, it attacked the mother and the nurse and then flew out the chimney and then rested in the Pine Barrens, where it can sometimes still be seen. Not really, but supposedly that's in the, in the Pine Barrens. Some people still, to this day, claim seeing the, uh, the Jersey Devil. So guys, I did not find the Jersey Devil, but I did find a different kind of monster. It's hiding just on the other side of this little stump here. come up closely just so it doesn't get me. Okay, easy. Yeah. I am so sorry. <laughs> But of course, what I'm most interested in are the trees. These are pitch pines. Uh, specifically, they might be pygmy pitch pines. So if you're wondering why they call it pitch pine, you can see all that white stuff. That is the sap. That's the pitch. Native Americans used the sap from the pitch pine as a medicinal thing. And that medicinal thing was a laxative. So I hope you excuse me for not tasting this. I don't really want to get diarrhea while I'm in the middle of the forest, but um, yeah, there it is. You can look all throughout here. All these trees have burnt uh, trunks at the bottom of the tree, and that is, uh, that is actually burnt. This is all just charred bits of wood, and that's because these trees depend on being lit on fire in order to spread their seeds. So over here, this is a pine cone that has not opened. You can see those little guys are not open all the way. But if you look down here at some of the charred ones, look at that. You can even see like at the top where it's not burnt, it's not open, and then at the bottom you can see it's splitting open where it charred. So these trees get caught on fire, then they pop open, and then the seeds can come out and they can spread. 
How cool is that? <laughs> So here's a, uh, a different pine tree. This is not one of the kinds that needs to be on fire <laughs> for it to release its cones. And you can see this is what pine cones normally do. They open up just when they ripen on the tree. You can see these ones are already open. They don't need to fall. They don't need anything. It just happens naturally when they get ripe. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet, a place where animals play. It's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires, a careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? And throughout the Pine Barrens, you'll see some strange plants. Like you see like these storybook kind of mushrooms around. Like very red looking, very poisonous looking. Yep, that thing will make you die or trip out. Not sure which. We saw a ghost plant here. So this here is the ghost plant. Also known as the ghost pipe. It looks almost translucent. And as it grows, it gets this cute little flower on it too. Some people say this is edible. When you cook it, it tastes a little bit like asparagus. Other people say you shouldn't eat it because it is mildly toxic. Some people say that it, it will cause you to have hallucinations. Yeah, I'm not going to eat it, <laughs> but it is really, really interesting to see. Uh, I mostly don't want to eat it just because it looks so cool and, like, mysterious looking that I would feel just wrong picking it. Very, very pretty and very easy to miss. And, um, yeah, but the, the main thing that you see when you're walking through are these pine trees. They're, like, all over the place. Another thing about the pitch pine that shows that it's adapted to forest fires is that it has something in it called an epicormic shoot? I believe that's it. <laughs> and what that is, is that there is, underneath the bark, there are uh, these shoots that can come out if they are damaged. So if the tree gets burned and it breaks in half, the tree can regenerate from where it broke off using the epicormic shoots. As you go through, you see kind of these crooked looking trees or trees that have branches coming out of the center of it and like odd sort of shaped trees. And that's because of that. These trees got damaged and then it caused this regeneration to happen. But when that happens, they don't go straight up. They get this kind of crooked look to it, which makes them even creepier when you're walking through this forest. <laughs> Growing up, you think forest fires are a bad thing, a bad thing. But in the case of this particular tree, it's good. It's good for there to be fires here because that allows at least this sort of ecosystem to thrive, which is such a bizarre thing to me. So yeah, Smokey the Bear, not always right. So there's a little sprout coming up from this tree that is burnt to a crisp. It's kind of beautiful. I would like to give a very big shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how I manage to keep this channel going, so if you enjoy what I've been doing, take a look at the link in the description below. Uh, I also sell t-shirts. This is one of them. This is the Mandrake Root shirt, which is uh, available on my website. Link to that in the description as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.